Hey guys, welcome back to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to be back on the cricket a little bit too, uh, but first we're going to be going out to the RC field. I got a new radio here that I wanted to do a quick rundown with it and uh, do a little bit of testing with it. So uh, I'll turn the camera around and uh, we'll take a look at that after the intro. Okay guys, so like I said, I have a new radio that I want to go ahead and test. I usually use my Spectrum G8, uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, the Spectrum 8 channel DX8, um, but it's the G2. Uh, but I've been recently having issues with it bind, uh, not staying bound uh, to receivers, and I'm not sure if it's the receiver or the uh, radio, so I wanted to go ahead and test out a new radio. So I saw Andrew, uh, Andrew Gideon, uh, I believe I pronounced your name right. Um, let me know if I didn't. Uh, he re recently purchased a uh, the Free Sky um, Tandem X20. So I went ahead and picked one up as well. And uh, I wanted to give it a try out. So I'm going to be running it on uh, the other chipmunk over here. So uh, we have that all set up. It's in the uh, back of the truck there. And uh, ready to head out to the RC field to give it a try. But let me go ahead and turn the camera around and let you guys take a look. All right, so this is not a fancy unboxing or anything like that, mostly because my uh, bench top here is uh, really just a mess right now. But uh, let's go ahead and open this up. So it comes with this really nice uh, case. It's uh, embossed. It's actually got rubber feet on the bottom, so that's pretty cool. Nice handle and everything. Opens right up. And uh, as you can see, I got the blue variant of the uh, radio. I've extended the sticks to meet my uh, style of flying. I even left the ratchet because I do like the ratchet on my throttle. It helps me with position of where my throttle is set. Um, the switches feel okay. I put the plastic caps on them and you know, a couple of them a little wobbly, but uh, for the most part, the buttons and everything here feel pretty nice. So we'll turn this around so you guys can see it right side up. But it does have a really big, really nice touch screen on it. Uh, the uh, pots feel really good. I'll go ahead and turn that on. Like I said, nice, Microsoft. readable screen. Uh, like I said, I've got it set up for the chipmunk. I'm going ahead and set up my uh, picture for it. Um, on the telemetry right now, I have just the RSSI on the 900 and on the uh, 2.4. Uh, and then a five minute timer, which is set to turn on when I hit the throttle. So that's all working out pretty good. The trims are nice. Uh, it feels really nice in your hand. It looks kind of big, but to be honest with you, it feels really nice in the hands. Uh, it's got two momentary switches back here as well. Uh, I think I had one of them I was going to set up as a uh, timer, to set up the timer. Uh, and it's using the new Ethos uh, software. So, And I did upgrade the firmware and in the uh, the transmitter side. So, But right now, the great thing about this is it's got a 900 and a 2.4 transmitter built into it. And inside the plane, I have a 2.4 and a 900 receiver. So uh, that way I have a backup. And you can set that 900 all the way up to 1 watt, which in the U.S., that's legal. So, um, But anyway, so let's go outside. Let's go out to the field, and let's test this guy out. Okay, guys, well, welcome back. And uh, we went out to the flying field today. We did fly the uh, Super Chipmunk and uh, also did do a uh, really quick just flight with the new radio and we'll talk about that a little bit later but we've got the uh everything kind of set up here that we get we can get that uh, cowl painted uh also taped off a little bit on the uh, side of the fuselage where i scratched it up putting that cowl on and getting it fitted but uh so we'll touch up that corner over there as well make it look nice again and uh once we get that part done we'll let everything kind of cure and then tomorrow we'll start finishing up the fuel system here in the back. See if we can't get the engine running tomorrow. So we'll see where we are. But uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on painting the cow.
Okay guys, so here we are at the end of the video and we are going to take a peek at the final product of that cow painting. I'm really happy with it. Let's turn the camera around and take a look. Yeah, so uh, pretty happy with it guys. It's uh, looking really good. Got my 750 Cricut sticker on there. And cow spacing is all good. We're not touching anything up here in the top. This is all looking really nice. And uh, of course the L750 Cricut on that side too. So uh, looking pretty good. Header, header tank is uh, pretty much uh, set up. The fuel is running. Uh, if you guys have been following my Facebook, you've also seen that I already started the engine. Did it without the prop. And I really don't want to run it too much more until I get my EIS back in and uh, hooked up in here. Because one, one, I don't know what my temperatures are, so I don't want to mess with it too much. Uh, once I have that all situated, then we're good to go. Uh, header tank, like I said, is in. Um, fuel lines from the wing area. I haven't gotten those yet because I need to make up a, a stiffener area and a channel to go right up inside that area. Uh, which then the, those fuel lines will go out and then down to the, the header tank. Uh, and then, of course, the wing gets mounted and that feeds the, the fuel. So uh, not much more really to do right now. We're going to go ahead and uh, clean up. We made a mess today. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and close out this video. Okay, guys, so um, I did save the video from the engine starting, so I'm going to put that here at the end of this video. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you uh, hit the like button if you like what you're seeing here with the cricket. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now. All right, guys. Hey, welcome to Joe's RC Corner. And this is going to be a special live Facebook uh, video here. Uh, we'll see if anybody shows up here. Um, I, I should have planned this a little bit better, but while I've been waiting for my paint to dry on my cow, uh, I've gone ahead and uh, we've gotten the airplane ready to, uh, to run. So, we're going to start a Viking engine here. So, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you what my steps are uh, based on the information that uh, we've kind of received over time. Um, and if you guys aren't seeing this live, then uh, I apologize. You'll see this uh, when, it gets, when it gets posted. But... Um, okay, let's turn the camera around. Okay, guys, so uh, here's the Viking 130 horsepower engine. Uh, I do have uh, the coolant in. Uh, I only got uh, filled it up just enough so far. Uh, still going to have to burp it and let it run and get some more in there, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll see how this all works out. Uh, but uh, and I don't have my EIS set up or anything like that. Nothing is uh, giving me any data, so we're not going to run it for very long. But we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get her started. So let me go through some of the steps that I went through. I went ahead and I primed my header tank uh, fuel line going to the engine here, which is coming up from uh, down underneath uh, from the header tank back in here. Excuse the mess. I made a spilt a little bit. So right now I don't have my vent line coming back down yet, but I do have my uh, pressure relief is going back to the bottom of the tank for right now. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, move on from that. We're going to make the drain later and uh, fix all the rest of that stuff. Right now I just filled it up with my uh, RC airplane gas can. It does not, it's just regular gas. Um, but uh, that pump was able to get it up inside the header tank. So let's go ahead and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and start her up. And uh, this is the uh, the Viking 130 here. So we've already checked the fluids. Fluids are good. We've already got oil in there. Already got the uh, radiator fluid. Uh, coolant is in there. And uh, we do have the gearbox does have oil in it as well. So everything else is ready to go. So here's my quick checks. Throttle back to idle with the friction lock. Battery one and battery two on. We're going to turn on fuel pump one. She's pumping. And then we're going to turn the key here. guys 
she's alive. She runs smooth. We're gonna let her get up to temperature. And then we're gonna have to burp the, uh, the coolant. she's hot we're gonna let her cool down just a little bit let get this burp out a little bit and then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get more fluid in there make sure she tops off really good but yeah it seems like uh, I see no leaks uh, this is built over from when I was pouring it in the coolant but no leaks guys she runs so my engines alive yeah we're all set guys the engine runs now Everything is all running perfectly. Now I just gotta get the wings built and finish up all the rest of this stuff. But now I know the engine's running, we can go ahead and close up the cow for now and uh, revisit uh, a little bit later as we go. But really happy, engine starts right up. Took no nothing at all, just, just started. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button on uh, Joe's RC Corner. Make sure you visit the YouTube channel and uh, subscribe and uh, the video on uh, all of this will be on the next one so uh, thanks guys appreciate you watching see you later bye now